How about this? The Sears team, which includes members from the University of Texas at Austin, has been working with images from that Webb Space Telescope. And they believe they've found an object that is one of the most distant galaxies ever discovered. KVU reporter Matt Fernandez spoke with the team's principal investigator and breaks down the findings. This galaxy here uh, is really interesting. This is a merging galaxy. Again, all of these structures that you can see, we sort of, we dubbed this one the Space Kraken. Dr. Stephen Finkelstein is an associate professor of astronomy at UT and the principal investigator for a project working with the James Webb Space Telescope. The team he's on is composed of researchers from around the country studying early science. Over the last few weeks, they've been breaking down nearly 700 images from the Webb telescope using a special computer. Analyzing it, making uh, beautiful pictures like the one uh, that you can see here, and trying to find really distant galaxies. And they did find some distant galaxies. Here we're looking at a uh, spiral galaxy. And the exciting thing about this is compared to the Hubble images of this galaxy, you can see all of these tiny little dots in that galaxy. Those are individual star clusters. One of the most interesting things they found was this red object. We know it's a galaxy, and we know it's a galaxy from the very distant universe. We are, I want to say, almost extremely sure that it's more distant than anything we've seen with Hubble. And so extremely, extremely early in the history of the universe. Finkelstein says they've deemed this as Maisie's galaxy, named after his nine-year-old daughter. After a brief discussion, uh, my daughter, she'd wanted me to name a galaxy after her, and I kind of suggested it as a joke, and a lot of people on board. It's really great to, to share this with her. Finkelstein says the team is excited to continue to comb through the data from the Webb Space Telescope and what it can bring to the astronomy community. In Austin, Matt Fernandez, KVU News. Some of those pictures are just gorgeous. We need the Brian Galaxy. Not many people have their own galaxy. Maisie's very lucky. Yes, she very is. Very lucky.